Hi everyone, welcome to part two, and now I'm going to show you how to add some surface imperfections on top of an existing material. So let's go down here to create, go to Arnold, and choose a standard surface. Now this is just going to be a, a standard white surface, nothing special about it, but I'm going to rename it to overlay. And now I'm going to click my tiles again, going back to the network editor and then take my overlay and drag it into the editor. All right, so I've got my tiles material here and my overlay material here. And I'm going to just zoom out a bit so I have a bit more room to work with. Now we're gonna be blending these two materials together by going over here and clicking surface and then down to mix shader. And I'll drag this out. Now I wanna make sure that I disconnect the tiles from the Arnold Beauty and then take the output from the mix shader and plug it into Arnold Beauty. Now I want to take the output from the tiles, plug it in to shader one, and then take the output from the overlay and plug that into shader two. Now at the moment we're seeing both, they're blending together and that's because the mix right here is set to 0 0.5. So if I put that to one, you'll see that the overlay material is completely overriding the tiles here. But of course we want an image to drive this value. So what we're gonna do is load in this image right here, which is a primarily black with white details on top overlay image. So here it is right here. I'll drag the image into the editor. Just rearrange it. And I want to be able to control the, the various different aspects of this image in regards to brightness and contrast. So in order to do that, I'll go over here to color, grab this color correct node. And then I'm going to take the output, plug it into the input, and then take the output from the color correction node, and then plug it into the mix shader and choose the mix value. And there we go. Now we're seeing this image is driving the transparency between the overlay and the tiles material. And we can see the effect happening there. But the reason I added my color correction node here is so that we can adjust things like the gamma. So if I push this up, you can see the effect is becoming much stronger. But it's looking a little washed out at the moment. And I can adjust for that by increasing the contrast down here. And just by going back and forth between these two values, I can find a good, a good look and blend between the various different parameters. So I'll increase the contrast to say like four. Now you can really see it's becoming obvious. And yeah, it's just a matter of tweaking this value until it looks correct for your object. The one last adjustment I might make is to go over here to the original overlay image. And then this is where you can change the scale. So I'll change this to a scaling of two on U and V. And you can see the details are now smaller. And of course you can also adjust the offset to precisely place the image. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So have fun blending materials together with surface imperfections and thanks for watching.